whoa, 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 four, three, two. Give me my money, Cordis. Give me that. I thought we was gonna lose that trade. Yo, what's good? What's happening? Welcome to another busy video. And today, as we usually do, is another trading session. But today, this trading session almost got me killed. Nah, my heart is racing. Lose losses and wins. Marcus, you know, punishing me for my bad behaviors of believing in my gut over my strategy. And this is, I think this is going to be a good video for many traders because I think that you could see yourself in this video and you can see that even somebody who's been doing this for a long time you still get that kind of false uh uh how can i call it? you get it you, you're like i know it but the marcus is like nah you don't and so today i'm gonna put you through it and how i'm still able to be profitable at the end of the day so but before we get right into the video what i want you to do is check my links in the description to the telegram channel where we have free signals every single day and I've also got a VIP that's absolutely free. And there, people are getting 10 free signals every single day. 10, yes, T-E-N, 10 free signals every day. So come join us, come join the fun. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, share with your friends. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So gang, let's go into the chart. As you can see, I have a quick bet going on right now so while it's going on i am going to explain the strategy that i use because you know i use this all the time nothing has changed my macd zigzag and stochastic oscillated combo is it's been paying me regularly so i've stuck with it and i'm sticking to it all this time as you can see i've got my fast period at 12 slow 26 and my signal at Hey, just see me win this real quick. Boom. $91. Just start. You can see $91. We just started. We just started. We just started. You can see I already lost one trade starting early today, but hey. No biggie. It's part of the game. You can see my zigzag right here. Five deviation, 12. I, it's default. I reset this many times. So, you know what? I, I don't want to do this every time. So, you guys can just pause the video right here and look at this. And you can come here pause it and you can see my stochastic oscillator as well i'll give you a second more so you can have it on the screen so now boom so you can see we already started entering some trades today uh so you can see some of our yesterday losses and misses if you were in the uh vip you know exactly what i'm talking about so but if you're not you should probably get in so right here, looking at OTC, all the non-OTC pairs have very low, very low payouts today, man. So it looks like we're going to have to go battle with, ooh, ooh, look at this chart right here. Oh, my God. This look hella crazy. We just cross over a bot, but it's still staying up. Okay. I think we, I think we will stick with OTC today. So this should be a good, this should be a good down entry here, but let's test it first. Late on the entry point, but I think that it might still be okay. So here we should be able to enter a down. So a put option. Oh my God. A put option somewhere here. But this might be a reversal too though. No, but I think this might fake out. No, it's pulling real nice. Oh, this might be going back up. No. This might be the beginning of an uptrend right here. Should we go in? Guys, taking a risk? Let's take it. We, I thought that this might be the beginning of an upward trend. We don't know yet. We've entered a trade right there. Oh, we actually went out of money on this. On this one dollar trade oh, okay looks like we're back in the money and that's what you get for trading against the trend we saw the trend was downwards and we lose a hundred dollars for that but i truly thought that it was going to pull up but that's what happened when you trade against the trend so here we know the trend is going downwards we can see huge down pressure but now we can see oh look how 
much in oversold there's been. Is this going to continue to go up? If we came earlier, we'll enter here, right here. Okay, let's see if we can enter one minute trade right there and we could be able to get some money out of that. Let me switch this to percentages. I'm going to do about $200 bets now. So 47 seconds. Looks like we're in good hands. Lost this, as you can see here, boom. This is the one that we lost because we put up, even though that we knew that the trend was going down, one of the things that you should always keep in mind is your trends. I'm gonna remove USD JPY real quick. So let's let's see something else. Um, let's add some more. Let's add some more pairs and see if we can find some good ways to make money. So as you can see here, we're about to win this trade following the trend. So it looks like today might be a good day to just follow the trends because as you can see, when we went against the trend. Didn't really work out the way you wanted it to. But right here, looks like it's going to be a win, win and trade for us. Boom. And then trade one. Um, okay. So that's great. We're up about, I think, $100. So we're really going to start, you know, spending the big bucks. So we just saw this. And we can see that it's an upper trend. But you can see it goes into overbought conditions for a while. And it stays there. We can see the MACD showing us this, this might continue to go up. So we'll enter a little bit late with our entry, but 5% on our bank, a little bit late, but I think it's going to continue to push upwards because it stays in oversold for a long period of time, according to the stochastic oscillator right below there. So we should be able to take profit of 200, about a, about 130 bucks. So while we're there, we try to find another place to enter. Here is another great situation. It looks like a great situation for us. It's almost the same situation as we entered before, where we entered a little bit late. So right here, we enter down and see if the market is really, really playing with us or not. Because if you remember, we had a similar situation here where we saw a green candle and we saw another very strong green candle, but we ended up putting call option on that because we, we traded against the trend that's going downwards. And as you can see here, boom, we just got our money. Let's go back here so we can see. So we can see it's fluctuating a little bit and it's still going up. But it's showing us that this should go down in time now, but it's not going down. So this might be an actual situation where it pulls back and oh it's pulling nope this might be an extra situation where it changes and the market becomes upwards so no we lose that trade so this might be a situation where the market is going upwards so we'll enter right there and see if the market is flipping because as we can see this candles look pretty strong it might mean that we're going upwards now but no it flips all the way back back into our entry point that's ridiculous right there it's ridiculous right there we're close to our entry point but it doesn't look like we'll be able to take profit on this because you can see our ways fluctuating i thought be oh we're in the money we're in the money we're in the money we're in the money and out the money again okay let's go somewhere else because we don't want to keep looking at this it's really Maybe we'll keep looking because we might be able to enter a trade. But this shows, like, no, it pulls back down. Wow. Okay, okay. All right, that's my second loss on this. It's going to be, ah, man, it was so close to be a return, though. All right, 200 bucks lost, two trades in a row. Oh, okay. I still want to take my money from this uh, pair. I want to wait to see a crossing here. If you see a crossing, we'll go up. Because I know it's an upward trend, right? Wow! <laughs> Can you believe that, guys? Can you believe that? Let's end up again. For sure. This is gonna this is gonna blaze out. Because you can see rallying. I'm waiting for that little cross right there. Confirm, baby. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So. We lost two trades, about 300, 
dollars, I want to say. So we're about to make two fifty back. More than three years, more than three hundred dollars we lost because of you. Just because you take time before the market blew up. All right, all right, all right, no problem. Let's go look for another trade. We're in the beginning of an upward trend here, but we're already in overbought conditions, which is crazy. And I don't see it staying. Oh, it stays a while. We should have entered earlier. We should have entered this trade earlier, a little bit late on that trade. But no big deal. We'll hope that that will come back. And we're taking Euro USD OTC for really making us suffer a lot on that on this trade making us really really work hard for it really made us really work hard for it so here you can see that it's pulling back a little because i think we entered at the highest point which is unfortunate for us and i don't think that it's gonna go anywhere below that which is okay 250 dollars loss is no well, it's an okay lesson for us in this situation so but the market pulls us whoa whoa whoa, whoa. okay and it was a, it's a false, false hope. Don't get too excited. So right here, we should find a good entry point. We're gonna go twenty percent. Ah, oh, it's a, such a good entry point right now. Is right here. If it goes a little lower, we'll enter again. But right now, it's gonna stay the course. If we see it go a little bit more lower, and it goes lower. Oh, and turn that right there. All right, guys. It's a little scary, but we, we see that we're right. The candles are green, and the candles are green, and everything goes our way. We should be able to take some nice profits right here. That candle flip red. It's flipping between red and green on MACD. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, my God. We've got to get two grand off of this. 2,200, we've got 16 seconds on one trade, 22 on the other, 26 on the next one. Oh, Quotex, Quotex, don't do me like that. I got six seconds on that trade, man. Yeah. Three, two, one. Quotex, motherfucker. All right, so we lost that trade last second. Ah, oh, I can't believe we lost it. And it was the earliest one we entered. We ended up winning it for 700. And we end up winning the second one as well, but we lost, we lost that one. The one that would have really made us profitable today, we ended up losing it. Marcus is hella crazy today. We've been like just winning and losing trades and we've stayed constant. Doesn't look like we're going to, oh, this might be a good entry point right here. Boom. A little early, but I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll take it. All right, so as you can see right now, I'm following mostly the MACD and I'm looking at overbought conditions. So as you can see, it stays in overbought for a long, long ass period. So I'm expecting this downward to just be a fake out and for it to fake back up. So if it fakes up, we're gonna be able to take profit. Even though I know that the market has been going up, so this might be a little bit early entry point, but I don't see it. I think, whoa, 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 whoa. Codex kind of lagged a little bit. What the, what the hell was that, Codex? You're going to fix this. We got money on the line. <laughs> Boo, okay. It might fake out. It might fake out, though. Oh, no, no, no. It's looking good for us. It's looking real good. It's looking real good. Boom, boom, boom. $400. $400. Good. Three grand. We just made about $400, so we're finally in the money. Finally in the money. Finally in the money for today. As you can see, the trade is going. $400 in profit. Not, not some of, we, we've had better profits. But you know what? It's exciting today based on how the market is going. So $400 in profit, not a, not a bad situation to be in. So we know here that it stays, you know, we've lost some money on Euro and USD because we know that it stays in oversold sorry overbought for a long period of time as you can see it's still in overbought and remember we bought somewhere around here call and we were still able to make profit right now we know it's going to stay here for a while so we have to find a perfect entry point so i'm thinking that this candle is going to be red 
And if it goes red below this week, we will enter into a call option. We'll reduce our money a little bit, okay? Because we don't want to be risking too much. Okay, let's go 5%. Call. Okay. While we're doing that, we'll go find another place to enter. Oh, this might be a good call option entry right here too. A little bit late, but we might be able to take profit on that as well. Okay, let's see if the markets are going to teach us a lesson right here. So, but it looks like it's following like my thoughts and what I think should happen. So I think we'll build out. That's good. That's good. 20 seconds on that. That candle is going to finish. Oh, it's finishing in the red. That's a little problematic, but... Yeah, I told you that was a little problematic since that candle finished in the red. This might be the beginning of, a, of it dipping down. But we might be able to take profit if it just pulls a little bit. Yeah! Boom! Another hundred... No! Ah, yeah, we... <laughs> I thought... I thought we was going to lose that trade. Uh, but this trade looks like it's a it's a goner for us. We lost this 144. All right, no big deal. Switch back to 12 percent. Ah, the market pulls up right below, right after that. Let me end. I think the market should pull up. Well, this might be the beginning of a of a downward trend, but I don't think so. Even though that this histograms are red, I don't believe that this should be the beginning of a downward trend. It's only one red candle. So that shouldn't show us that. So right here, we're about to make about 300 profit. If we're able to get this done, guys, if we're able to get this, we'll be about $700 in profit, a little bit more, which is great. So you guys can see, oh, now the zigzag is confirming uh, that the market is continuously going upwards which is just bomb for us, which means that we'll be able to take this 300 profit easy. No need to even think about it. So as you can see, it takes time. All right. Okay. We've lost some trade. We've won some trades. And now give me my money code. It's giving me that two. It's not even 300. It's about like 390 bucks. 3,360. So we're up about 700 dollars i think because we're we started with like 2600 or perhaps 700 bucks all right and we're not doing it like putting a grand and like we're really trying to manage our risk trying to make money if you know you understand so let's i'm really worried about usd and indian rupee market is moving sideways here you can see red red green candles which is showing us that we're in overbought and it's just sticking there just sticking there sideways so it doesn't really doesn't really change but now we can see there is no crossing even though it looks like a crossing on the macd there is no crossing it's still showing that after this crossing right here the red line has stayed below so this might be a call option right here i'll enter it for fun. thirty dollars let's see let's see We'll come back to it. $30 on there. This might be the beginning of a downward trend right here. This might be the beginning of a downward trend. Uh, and so, okay, for 30 bucks. Think, I'm thinking I'm right on this. I think I'm right on this. I think I'm right on this. I see a little bit of crossing. This might be it. It's into 10% right there. Oh, it pulls back away. Oh my god, we're trading against a trend. Very risky to do this, but that's what happens when you try to predict the market before it happens. Close, 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 real close, guys. Oh my god, pulls all the way back. No, it's not gonna. God, I thought it was gonna budge into. But it doesn't. Wow, it continues to go upwards. Wow, crazy. No, we're not going to get that pullback. I don't think it's possible we're going to get that pullback. Except the candle finishes. If it finishes the green, it's going to continue. Wow, guys. 
setting with finishes and ingredient continue to go upwards. Okay, lesson number two. Don't trade against the trend today at all. Because the markets will, they, they've made us pay. <laughs> so we're back to 2900 about $300. $300. So right here, we're going to do a huge trade. Something's going to put us in the money big. I enter right here. Boom. Okay. Not the best entry point. It's a little slow because the, the codex sometimes when you click call or uh, put, it sometimes slows up which really 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 fucks with like your entry point but right here everything is looking good we should make a we should make about 89 percent of this <sighs> but the markets is you know we've taught us a good lesson today so we're going to stick to that so y'all can see the ups and downs of like being a real trader and like what comes with it and right now we're in the money but that oh that's good because i was worried that if that candle finishes on the red we're going to pull all the way downwards. But we're clearly, clearly in good hands right now. Four, three, two. All right. Good trade. We are up at least a grand right now. So you guys can see. Maybe we'll enter one last trade for the day, try to get it into 4K. Gang, so I put the last trade in, but my camera kind of went off and my software for uh, recording my screen also had a little bit of problems. So I guess this is where we're going to end the video because you guys missed a lot, a lot of things. But what we're going to do is... There's no way I can recreate, uh, you know, that part of the video. So I would add it to this video probably. So uh, what I want to say is thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for always keep coming back to my videos and watching it. Cause so you can see what a real life trading looks like. And I'm happy to be able to bring you to see the hops and downs of a trader and what like a regular trading session looks like for me. So all I want to say is come join the community. We've got thousands of people in the community making money every day on my free signals and you can see for yourself on this live videos that i do be profitable it might not be what you like to see on youtube with people making like 10 grand from a dollar i'll be honest you know that's so realistic so uh come join the fam links will be in the description subscribe like tell your friends about it so you can all make money together thank you very much for watching this video it's your boy busy and i'm out Thank you.